find the exact solution of 2 to the 2x plus 1 plus 5 times 2 to the x minus 12 is equal to 0. OK, so we've got 2 to the 2x plus 1 plus 5 times 2 to the x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we know here from here that a to the m plus n is equal to a to the m times a to the n. So this will become 2 to the 2x times 2 to the 1. So we're going to have two brackets, 2 to the 2x plus 5 times, in brackets, 2 to the x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now we know that if we've got multiplied powers together, a to the m n, that is the same as a to the m to the power of n. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this as 2 to the x, the 2. So we've got 2 times 2 to the x squared plus 5 times 2 to the x minus 12. Now if I place, replace 2 to the x with a different variable, like y, then I'm going to get a quadratic equation, which I can type. So this is known as a disguised quadratic. So let some other variable, y, it can be any letter you want, is equal to 2 to the x. So this now, replacing the 2 to the x with y, we get 2 to the y squared plus 5y minus 12 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic, so we're trying to solve it. We're trying to solve it using factorization. So the product is the 2 times minus 12, which is minus 24. The sum is 5. Then you want two numbers which multiply together, make minus 24, and you add the same numbers, you get 5. And the answer to that problem are called the factors. So minus 3 times 8. So minus 3 times 8 does give me minus 24. And minus 3 plus 8 gives me plus 5. So that's OK. So we now split the middle term up into 3y plus 8 minus 3y plus 8y. And we factorise by what's known as grouping. Common factor here of y. What's left is 2y minus 3. And there's a common factor here of 4. And what's left here is 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. So we've got 2y minus 3, 2y minus 3 needs to come out. So we've got 2y minus 3 brackets y plus 4 is equal to 0. So either y will be equal to, so either that's equal to 0 or that's equal to 0. So it gives that y is equal to 3 over 2 or y is equal to minus 4. But y is 2 to the x. We're going to have 2 to the x is equal to 3 over 2, or 2 to the x is equal to minus 4. Now, in this case, it's just not possible because any a to the x is greater than 0 for all x, provided that a is positive. Therefore, we solve this bit by taking logs of both sides. So we've got log to 2 to the x is equal to log to the 3 over 2. We can take the x here and bring it down in front. So we've got x log 2 is equal to log 3 over 2 using log to the x to the r is equal to r log x. And the final step will be to take this log 2 over the other side. So we get x is equal to log 3 over 2 divided by log 2. And that's the only solution to this. So this is a logarithm, uh, an exponential equation, equation leading to a disguised quadratic.